Howdy y'all, Old Star Rider here. I'm here in Llano, Texas at the uh, the old jail. They call it the Red red uh, Roof Jail, or Red Top Roof. Anyway, got a uh, private tour I'm fixing to do, so y'all stick around. Lone Star Rider on his motorcycle. was on the courthouse square but it was on the south side where the statue is a yeah. part of it was underground and so uh, very poor conditions no water no electricity so they ordered them to build this jail and this jail was built in eight months and it cost eleven thousand five hundred dollars to build all of the rock is from grand uh, all of the rock is from lano county and all the granite is from lano county we're going to go in the back door we had, okay we had somebody break in they did about ten thousand dollars worth of damage upstairs. We've been doing some remodeling. <laughs> uh, this would have been the kitchen area. This would have been where all the meals would have been prepared for the uh, prisoners upstairs. Right. Um, there was a there was a, a wood burning stove probably right behind you. Water. You had to go down to the river outhouse out back. Uh, but the family actually lived here on the first floor. This one is, um, this probably would have been the, the dining room where they would have eaten their meals. This is, probably, this is the biggest room. Again, it probably would have been a, a, a bedroom or it could have been a living room. Whatever the jailer needed it for is um, what he, he would have used it for. You can see there's no bars on the window, so there right. were never ever prisoners down here. Some of this furniture in here is from a Doolittle school. At one time, the population of Atlanta was between eight and 10,000 people. They just got, um, but again, you can see how thick the walls are. And then here is, uh, the meals would have been prepared in the kitchen area and then just placed through this little opening and someone would have taken them upstairs. Either the, a jailer would have, or maybe a trusted prisoner would have come down and helped them do it. 1982 was when they actually closed the jail okay. and stopped using it for prisoners. Oh, well, the state probably made them made a better jail. Yes. <laughs> That's usually how that goes. Now in here, nothing in here is original except for the mantle. We've you know, started having people donate things to us, just to stage it and everything. But one of the things that they would do is if the jailer didn't have kids, they would rent these rooms out. Um, originally, if a prisoner was being brought in, he would have been brought in right through this front door here. Yeah. Um, there's a big metal door here. There was a big metal door here, so see the family. The family couldn't see the prisoner. Um, this desk is the only original piece of furniture that we have. It's not original 1895, but it is original that a jailer actually sat down at this desk and oh. booked people in. So, uh, and a lot of the furniture at that time, when the jailers came and went, they would take their furniture and then, you know, bring the furniture, take their furniture. So gotcha. but that is a, an original piece of um Okay, when we go upstairs, look at the walls, because the walls tell a story of trying to get probably a drunk person. 22 saloons and three churches were here when it was the boom town. So a lot of bar fights and things like that. But watch your step when we go up, it went right here, and then when we go upstairs, it's steep in there. When you go right in here, but uh, it's not level, so just be careful. Okay. And that's just because of our throne that's right over here. Yeah. Like I said, originally it didn't have any plumbing in here. And so they would have to use the honey pot to put underneath the cell. And then again, there was an outhouse out back. 
But this cell is in the middle of the room. That was so that the, the prisoners wouldn't have access to the walls or to the windows to try to escape. And then inside this cell, there are two smaller cells. Sleeping on hammocks, huh? And sleeping on hammocks, yes. And then that little door back here in the corner, there's a little door that raises up. Yeah. Um, that would have been the heater. They would have brought a bucket of coals up here for, for the heat. Oh. So you would have been placed in your cell, the door would have been closed, and then it would have been locked here. And then you would have come out here yeah. and closed this. That wouldn't have been a good sound. <laughs> and then it would have been, there's another uh, place to put a lock here. And then you would have closed it here. Closed it here. And then closed it down there. And then it would have been also locked here again. Oh, and then wow. it would have been locked here again. <laughs> and then downstairs. Yes. Um, the Poly Jail Company is the company that built this jail, and what you would actually do is look through a catalog and you would order your jail, and they would ship it down from St. Louis, Missouri. They shipped it down to the rail yard district where you were yesterday. And, um, one of the neat things about this company is they are still in business today. They still make jails today. Oh, wow, I have so to look it, up. it is pretty cool. They've got a really neat website. Um, one of the problems that they have had is they've, you know, going back and looking for information, they've had fires at their location and their facilities where they have lost all their paperwork, and that's a lot of it here. Um, we have got two drunk tanks on the east side and then two drunk tanks on the west side. And originally there were two people in the, in the uh, cell there. And they were the people that were probably just here to sober up and going to spend a couple days a day or two in there um, but Dennis Glenn he's got his name in this cell and he spent 11 days in that cell yeah. over there he has got his name inside there spent a lot of time being drunk spent a lot of time and then um, here it says give last nights to all drunks so this is some of the graffiti <laughs> all the graffiti that you see is original we're not we haven't added anything over here this is actually I always call it the uh, maximum security side but not just after the population of Lano went down they discovered the iron wasn't the quality that they needed or wanted so then the population of Lano went back down to about 2,000 people and as you know there weren't as many people in the jail so they, they did let them walk around out here and that's how we get all the graffiti on the outside as long as they weren't trying to kill each other or you know trying to you know destroy stuff they would let them walk around and that's how we get all the graffiti on the outside even up here we have Donald Wisdom he was here in 74 and again just people marking their their notches and things like that yeah now men and women were both here in the jail um there's a wire up here there's a wire right here yeah and so what they would do is hang a quilt up here uh -huh. and they would pull the quilt across and that is what separated the men and the women <laughs> um, we call this a transition level there may have been plans at one time to put another level of cells up here if the population of Lando had kept had continued to grow yeah um because there are doors on each one of these panels and there would have been plenty of room to add another another cell up here on top we call this the drop dead floor the drop dead floor yes and that's only because our next level is going to be the gallows oh really yes there are some we don't have um, the gallows are up there now we're going to go upstairs and every gallow has 13 steps so you don't count the landing and then that's the, the noose has 13 loops but um, here's your little gate the little gate the little gate there would have been a floor here and then if yes, they were going to execute someone although we don't have the hardware or anything that was that was originally up here 
but again, we, and we don't have any record of anyone being hung here. Um, that was probably part of that opportunity. Um, but yeah, there would have been, here's the little gap, the little gate that they would have stood on, and then they would have, if, if they happened to execute someone in here, they would have gone down to the, the drop dead level and been executed and then just lowered the rest of the way down. We actually had someone try to steal all these windows. They had actually got them all out of the walls and they were sitting on the floor here. I don't know if they got scared away or if they were going to come back at a later time to get them, but we had to put those all back in. I think that cost, cost us about $9,000 to do. On all that hardware, it's beautiful if you look at the details, all yeah. that is original. Well guys, if you're ever in Lano, Texas, be sure to take the tour of the jail here because this is awesome. <laughs> uh, a lot of history here. Really, really cool. If y'all are not subscribed to me, y'all should be. Click on that subscribe button down below and then hammer the hell out of that bell and you'll get an email notification that I've uploaded a video. And if you like this video, give it a big thumbs up, share, comment. Let me know what you think. Catch y'all on the road. Do, do, do.